Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take a look at how I did the lighting for these two scene from scratch. If lighting something that you are struggling with and you didn't explore it enough, then this video is for you. This one is a segment from a larger course on my Patreon where we take a deep dive on how I created this beautiful perfume shots in Blender from start to finish, covering everything from modeling, texturing and lighting. If you want to get access to the full course along with some amazing tutorials, feel free to check out my Patreon and I hope you find something helpful out of this one. So without further ado, let's dive in. So now we can move on to the lighting. So for the lighting as we see in here like the scene is already deleted and we just need to add some highlights. So first highlight that I'm gonna add is from here as you see this part in the whole chunk I want some light to come from here also reflected on this bottom part alright so I'm gonna hit shift A and search for an area light rotate it and G, X and move it back take it in here Move it down, rotate it, S, X twice, and scale it, G, move it down, and go to the lighting properties, like it's now it's harsh, so we'll drop the strength really down. As you see, no, nothing fancy. Like if you see the difference, yeah, that's it. And maybe tweak it. Place my 3D cursor in there. 3D cursor at viewpoint error. Try to lift it up. Yeah, just like that. I'll go back and rotate it. I want also maybe this part. If you see, like let's try. Rotate it. All right. Also, this light <laughs> created these shadows in here, as you see. Like you might need to remove that, but let's keep it for now. Next, I'm going to add another highlight now for the bottle from this side. This side. Something that no one will notice, but yeah. Add an area light. Rotate it G, Y, and move it to the side. Let's X scale it down. R, X to move it to the side. Just like that. It might take the strength. We just want a line in there. So maybe I'll back to my medium point S, X. Scale that. Rotate it towards it. G. Then bring it back. There we go. Let me take the strength. Really, really. Go back. Increase it a little bit. As you see. Now, if you see it different. Mm -hmm. Something now is happening. Also, I didn't want it to be in the bottom part so I'll take G, Z and move it up just like that alright as you see now also the light that we created has been created this edge in here that I don't want it to be honest so I'll just take my light G, X and move it to the other side yeah, just like that. Alright, so now if we take a look at the top part of the bottom, it's look a little bit dark. So we're going to add one more light. So shift A, like hold shift and place your 3D cursor in here. Shift A, add an area light, rotate it and scale it down. G, move it into the 
inside to the inside yeah and scale it place it in the back like that I want it to sort come from this side all right let me take the strength there bit G then move it just keep tweaking can we find the perfect spot for you all right So now if we see the different, mm -hmm. there is good stuff. So for the lighting, it's not going to be that complicated since the background did pretty much all the work for the perfume. So we're going to only focus on the hand. So for the hand, they want the idea they have, they want this part to have some light. Not that harsh light, that's the tiny smooth light and the highlight can highlight this part in here. It's really that simple so we're gonna add an area light and yeah we're gonna use the link lighting features to let the light not affect the bottle. So select the hand, find it in the outline or if you can't just press go to the outliner and press dot to find it after that select the light go to the object properties down in the shading you're gonna find link lighting press new and take your hand and drop it in here now the light only affects the hand i'm gonna take the air light i'm gonna scale it on the y-axis then move it back and then rotate it a little bit to the side and now i'm gonna drop this strength just like that perfect maybe i'll scale it again you can always come back to the Texturing and increase or decrease the coldest part as you see I think so next I'm gonna be adding another light in this part so I'm gonna take the same light since it has the link lighting apply to it so try to scale it and place it in the in the side a little drop the strength a little bit so let's scale it on the y-axis you know let me shift and place my 3d cursor in here shift is cursor to select and bring that up okay I want to create it as the same as the original one let me now bring that down yeah here we go just like that also, as you see, the light affects the hand in this part, not the light, the background. Affects the, the hand in this part, like you hide it, you're gonna notice that. And that's pretty much it. I think we are done. Like, just to let you know, this is the beginning of many deep advanced tutorials that are coming. Like, I have too many projects and ideas that I can't wait to share with you. So stay tuned, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.